Uh, your Honours, uh, may I be allowed to make a general offer of proof, uh, then I may go to the uh, documentary evidence that we have uh, without prejudice to any to further documentary and testimonial evidence that we will have uh, assuming that this proceeding goes into the adjudicatory hearing. Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, proof that are going to be disclosed here uh, would uh, are confined to the allegations of the complaint. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Proceed. Uh, Your Honor, we will be able to prove that the violations of the Constitution and the law committed by Senator Manny Villar uh, relate, to, relate to his conduct as a senator and the dignity and the integrity and reputation of the Senate and its members. In particular, we will prove the following. One, that Senator Manny Villar and his wife, Congresswoman Cynthia Villar, were the proponents of the construction of the Las Piñas Paranaque Link Road, which runs from the back of SM Mall, Sukat, up to Quirino Avenue in Pulang Lupa, Las Piñas, at a total cost of 710,970,000 pesos, uh, using public funds, uh, which road passed through the properties of Golden Haven Memorial Park and Adelpha Properties, Inc., Two corporations which are owned by Senator Manny Villar and his wife, Congresswoman Cynthia Villar, and that from the very start up to the present, um, they had not divested of their financial interest in this corporation, that this road had tremendously increased their values. Number two, that Senator Manny Villar, using his position as Senator, funded this project. Number three, that Golden Haven Memorial Park and Adelpha Properties, Inc., which are owned by Senator Manny Villar and his wife, Congresswoman Cynthia Villar, received payments in the total amount of 136,774,077 pesos and 44 centavos for the 13 lots, the 13 lots that were used for the road right-of-way for this road project. Number four, that at the time Senator Manny Villar made a 200 million pesos insertion in the 2008 national budget, his corporations, Golden Haven Memorial Park and Adelpha Properties, Inc., were trying to collect the total amount of 84 million. 657,753 pesos and 50 centavos as balance for the road right of way of this road which passed through their properties. Number five, that some of the properties that were sold to the government by these corporations owned by Senator Manny Villar had already been foreclosed uh, by and sold to the central bank as evidenced by the certificates of sale duly annotated at the back of the titles to these properties. Number six, that while the adjacent properties owned by other landowners were bought by the government for 1,000 to 4,000 per square meter only, the properties of the corporations owned by Senator Manny Villar were bought by the government for 13,300 pesos per square meter. Number, number six, number seven, that it was Senator Manny Villar who caused the extension of the circumferential road five project, which was supposed to end at Sukat Road by pushing for the construction of a road which extended the C5 road extension from Sukat Road to Quirino Avenue and which traversed the 35 hectare property of Golden Haven Memorial Park on one side if you're going towards Quirino Avenue and the 50 hectare property of Adelpha Properties Inc. on the other side, again, if you're going towards Quirino Avenue, that these corporations are owned by Senator Manny Villar and Congresswoman Cynthia Villar. That the construction of this road had resulted in the development of these properties, which used to be interior raw lands into prime properties, 
with a well-lighted six-lane road in the middle, and that this road is more expensive and better than the best roads in Makati City and Fort Bonifacio, Taguig City. That these properties now have access to Sukat Road and Quirino Avenue, and will soon have access to the coastal road. We will also prove that another corporation owned by Center Mani Villar, Brittany Corporation, also received payment for a 3,705 square meter lot in the amount of 68,542,500 pesos based on a zonal valuation of 18,500 pesos per square meter as part of the road right of way of the multinational to Sukat Road portion of the Circumferential Road 5 extension project that under the revised alignment of the South Sleep Road, Brittany Corporation owned by Center Mani Villar sold two lots with a total area of 22,546 square meters to Ayala Land for 318,650,000 or at 14,133 pesos and 32 centavos per square meter in 2003 that as a result of the realignment of the C5 Link Expressway or the Circumferential Road 5 extension project, payments made by the government to other property owners in San Junicio, Paranaque City, under the original alignment of the project, to the tune of almost 1.8 billion pesos for road right-of-way, were wasted. This 1.8 billion pesos was sourced from a U.S. dollars 68,560,000 loan of the Public Estates Authority that was guaranteed by the national government and was paid through advances made by the national government. Finally, we will prove that Senator Manny Villar and his wife, Congresswoman Cynthia Villar, are the majority shareholders of Adelpha Properties, Inc., Golden Haven Memorial Park, and Brittany Corporation, and that Senator Manny Villar, in violation of our Constitution and the law, has not divested of his shareholdings in these corporations throughout his term as a member of the House of Representatives from 1992 to 2001, and as a senator from 2001 and up to the present. We will also prove that the original alignment of the C5 Blink Expressway was realigned upon the request of three uh, big businesses, Amvel Holdings of uh, Brother Mike Velarde, SM Properties, and Brittany Corporation of Senator Manny Villar. Uh, we have here, Your Honor, the uh, documentary evidence that we have so far, uh, which uh, is more than the uh, substantial credible evidence that is required by the law. I can go through each one of these uh, numerous uh, documentary exhibits, Your Honors. I think the, the, the summary, if uh, as far as the Chair is concerned, the summary is sufficient to evaluate whether indeed uh, there is uh, uh, substantial credit, credible evidence to support uh, the complaint uh, unless there is any objection. Uh, we will uh, adapt this summary uh, as is and I would like to find out whether the General Counsel based on the attached documents on the complaint uh, would uh, agree with this narration of uh, the counsel for the uh, complainant. Mr. Chair. Yes, the gentleman from uh, Munting Lupa, Pasay, and yes, Lopos Norte. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, we heard a recitation of uh, alleged acts. Uh, to this layman's uh, mind, Mr. President, that might not establish sufficiency of 